you want to dye your hair. Maybe you're going through a rough time. Maybe it's time for some change. Just totally messing with you. I decided, I mean, quarantine has gotten to me, you guys. Last time that I've had my hair done or when I've done it myself, it's been since I was 18, 18. It's been almost six years since the last time that I've had my hair done. I just want to say I'm not a uh, professional or anything like that. I don't have my license. I have worked in a hair salon before, but then again, that doesn't mean anything. So hair changes, you know, and my hair, it is all virgin hair. It is really disgusting right now because I haven't washed it in like four days, maybe three days, three days. But anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna get everything set up and we will go on with the process. So enjoy this video. <sighs> I'm so to the roots. I had it in about maybe 45 minutes before I went in to do my roots and then my roots stayed in for about 25 minutes approximately and then I just went back and touched up all over the hair and I went back and also touched up the roots as well too where it was needed. All right, so we are doing the other side today and I am just, I'm so nervous. Every time I do my hair, I get so nervous. So um, yeah, <laughs> we'll go ahead and do this side today. 
before we start I just put on a towel because I didn't do that yesterday and I totally forgot and so the back of my neck was like kind of like um, getting a bleach on it as well and then when I was bleaching because my hair is kind of long it kept hitting my arms so I just took an old long shirt that I don't really wear anymore and I just put on the shirt that I was wearing when I was bleaching yesterday just so that I don't have to ruin too many shirts and just throw this one away when uh, I'm done with it. When joy comes to mind, it will light up your heart And to love you and the stars of the four, of the four Doctor, I'm thinking of water and run to your depths So yesterday when I did my hair on this side, it took me about an hour before I was able to reach my roots. Today I finished this side within 40 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and let my ends marinate for a little bit and then I'll come back and hit my roots and then that way um, it'll kind of even out because I don't want to put it in right now or else I will get hot roots because I just finished the top portion so I still need that top part to sit for like 20 minutes so that it can lighten enough and then I'll come back and hit it because um, most people say typically even after an hour of bleach it tends to dry out so it doesn't really lighten any more than it should anyways and plus since we are doing two rounds of bleach I am gonna come back and hit it so that the brassy tones will come out. Mm, I'm hungry. Let me go ahead and just tell you what I've done so far. So I started doing my hair at 440 and I did my ends and at 522 I was done with my ends and I gave it about 20-ish minutes or so to soak in because I started from the back and I needed my front to really soak in and finish. So at 540 I started doing my roots and then um, right now I'm just waiting for my roots to finish. I'm just waiting for the roots to lift enough so that it will be very similar before I um, wash it out. So yesterday it took me an hour and a half to finish this side and right now so far we are at an hour and a half right now but because I was eating and I kind of forgot to do my roots I'm gonna let it sit for 10 more minutes and then I'll rinse it out. Am I carrot top yet? <laughs> So oh, of course you can tell that the hair is orange because it is only bleached one time and this is the full head all around. I am going to go ahead and take a shower. I'm not going to shampoo my hair, I'm just going to condition it and then I'm going to do a hair mask, rinse that out for a little bit and then I do have to get another tub of bleach because this one basically is almost done because I used it for my entire head. But I don't know if you can tell, this side right here at the bottom it's slightly darker than over here which is fine because once we re-bleach the entire head and tone the entire thing it's gonna be gorgeous this is after bleaching it one time and after I blow dried it on cool heat so that there's no really heat damage to the hair and because I did use a 30 volume it is like kind of harsh on my hair despite my hair being like grown out virgin hair. So as you can see, the top parts of my roots are lighter than the bottom parts and then like, because the look. So I use a 20 volume developer. I will say though, it did lift technically how much I needed it to in order for it to be as even as this side. So I think what I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to go ahead and tone this um, hair color and we'll just see how it comes out. Yeah, do that. Okay, well, here goes. 
was nothing. All right, guys. So this is the day after with, of course, some makeup on. And I want to go to a window so that I can show you the completed color. And like I had mentioned before, basically what I did just to wrap up everything was on this side, I bleached it twice, one time with 30 volume, second time with 20. And then this side, I did it with 30 volume. On this side for the bleach, it stayed in for about an hour and 10 minutes. And on this side was only for about a total of an hour to about 50 minutes for each time. And the reason why I did two sides was because this side was a little bit more brassier and kind of like one level down than this side. Um, so I just had to do it that way. But this is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. Um, this was not a tutorial. Basically me showing you guys me doing my own hair during this quarantine time. And if you are going to color your hair or bleach your hair, make sure you do a lot of reviews, knowing, you know, your color wheel and just really, really studying a lot about your hair because just don't do it if you're impatient or you're doing like an impulsive decision and you just want to like get it done just really really spend the time to learn a lot about your hair and whether or not it can take color or anything and if it doesn't um, my recommendation take a strand from the very back of your hair and bleach it or color it and see how well your color um, see how well your hair takes that color because that will definitely help you in the long run so that you don't mess up your entire head but you'll be able to see how your hair can take like bleach or color okay so yeah i'm really really happy with the results um as you can tell i don't know if you can but i was kind of concerned because my roots were a little bit lighter where my ends were a little bit darker but i kind of like that look so it actually looks pretty pretty good and um, once this toner kind of wears off, I will be mixing in a little bit of like a hue of blue to kind of get rid of these gold tones, kind of a little bit more brassiness. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video and I wish you well if you do your hair. So thanks for watching. Bye. i